The United States military says the Chinese government and its military may have been involved in targeting U.S. government computer systems. China's foreign ministry has repeatedly rejected those allegations in the past, calling for new rules and cooperation in cybersecurity. But in its annual report to the U.S. Congress assessing China's military, the Pentagon says Beijing is making significant progress in hacking both government and corporate computers. From Washington, Daniel Winches reports. Each year, the U.S. Defense Department updates America's lawmakers on the modernization of China's military. This year, there are details about traditional hardware upgrades, like last September's commissioning of the Liaoning aircraft carrier. The report also says the Taiwan Straits remains a key priority, but U.S. government analysts also say they detect a broader set of geographic and strategic interests. With this development, China's interests have grown and its influence has expanded not only in the Asia-Pacific, but across the globe. Accordingly, China's military modernization has begun to focus to an increasing extent on capabilities and mission sets that extend beyond immediate territorial concerns. The U.S. authors suggest China's military is investing in better weapons systems, including ballistic and anti-ship missiles and non-traditional space and cyber warfare capabilities for the purpose of collecting intelligence and to disrupt military communications systems. The report states that in 2012, numerous computer systems around the world, including those owned by the U.S. government, continued to be targeted for intrusions, some of which appear to be attributable directly to the Chinese government and military. China's foreign ministry has repeatedly denied such activity, saying China is often a victim of cyber intrusions. China has called for enhanced international cooperation in this area. The U.S. Defense Department says it's encouraged by steps to improve direct contacts between the Chinese and U.S. military. In this report, we describe our efforts to work towards a healthy, stable, reliable and continuous military-to-military -military relationship with China. We view this type of relationship as an important component of the overall U.S.-China relationship. Indeed, having this type of relationship is an important part of our larger strategy to rebalance to the Asia-Pacific region. The report also provides details about the increasing involvement of China's military in humanitarian relief, disaster response, anti-piracy and counter-terrorism. The Pentagon report includes classified information provided to lawmakers on committees responsible for helping formulate U.S. foreign policy on China and adjustments to America's much-touted Asia pivot, now known as the rebalance. Daniel Renches, CCTV, Washington.